Hey, welcome to another episode of geekoutdoors.com. So if you spend any time on my channel, then you know that obviously I am a YouTube content creator, but you'll also know that I am a digital marketer. That's actually what I do for a living. And so today I'm gonna to be talking about the realities of digital marketing, both the pros and the cons. So let's go ahead and start with the pros. The big pro is right now digital marketing is in high demand. And so if you go to a job site like indeed.com, you type in digital marketing, you'll probably see thousands of jobs, normally over 20,000 jobs available, and that's pretty much on an everyday basis. And the reason why that is so is because a lot of businesses and even government institutions, they're actually starting to move over from traditional marketing. And traditional marketing is things like your television commercials, your radio ads, billboards, newspaper ads, stuff like that. They're all converting over to digital marketing. And so there's going to be a lot of need for this type of skill. And it's not going to slow down anytime soon. And the second thing is, it's marketing. You know, just like sales, these things have always been around. It's been here way before the internet and sales and marketing is not going anywhere. And so that's another great positive of digital marketing. And then another thing is you have more options when it comes to digital marketing. For example, if you actually wanted to get a job in digital marketing, as I just stated earlier, there's plenty of jobs out there. The second thing is you could actually work remotely, which is what I do. So you could work on the internet. So obviously you're gonna have some skills and experiences that is gonna be required for you to get to that level. Uh, but if you actually spend the time to learn these skills, then you have that option to work in either place or maybe even both. And then the final thing that I could think of as a big pro is that digital marketing, you could learn all of this basically for free if you wanted to. Um, I myself actually went through a paid course, which I think is highly worth it. I'll leave that in the description area below if you wanted to see that. But in order for you to become a digital marketer, you don't need some very expensive college degree uh, because the whole nature of digital marketing is that it changes all the time. And the best thing that you could get out of getting experience is to actually do it. You know, that's really what separates the good digital marketers from the bad digital marketers. The good ones actually do it, you know, and so they have real world experience. And so that's probably all the pros that I could think of right now. There's probably many other, but those are the big ones. Now, in terms of the cons of being a digital marketer, even though there are a lot of jobs available right now, um, at some point it is gonna get saturated. Um, that doesn't mean that there won't be marketing uh, jobs available because as I stated earlier, marketing is always gonna be something that is needed. It's just that you're gonna to have to do a lot more. You know, you're gonna to have to have more skills, more experience, just like any other field in order for you to stand out. So that is the first thing. And the other con is that if you do decide to do this as a freelancer or as a contractor or as a business, like what I'm doing, it could be pretty tough. And what I mean by that is you are now becoming more entrepreneurial. When you go out there on your own, and you don't have a quote unquote safety net from having a job, then you're gonna have to go out and look for your own clients, you know, get your own business, and also manage a lot of things that go along with that. And so that pretty much is something that there's no way around. And so um, if you are the type of person who is thinking about doing digital marketing and then working online and you know having a business, well, just realize that it's not always gonna be a straight up, there's gonna be a lot of ups and downs. So just kind of be prepared for that. And then another thing with digital marketing is, um, I see it as a positive, but it could be seen as a con, is that you're gonna have to constantly learn. Uh, because digital marketing, it changes all the time, practically every day in some cases. I mean, just think about this YouTube platform, think about all the algorithm changes, or on social media like Facebook, or any other internet platform, the internet is constantly changing and evolving, and so if you are that type of person who just likes getting a degree, and or whatever skill set, then just like not really having to learn much all the time, then this is not the field for you. And then the final thing is, since there are going to be more digital marketers coming online, well, obviously, there's going to be more competition. And so you're constantly going to have to learn more. You're constantly going to have to refine your skills uh, to make sure that you provide the best value uh, versus your competitors. And so those are all the main things that I could think of right now when it comes to digital marketing and the realities of being a digital marketer. But overall, I think this is a skill set that is highly, highly valuable. And I'm actually very thankful that I learned this skill because otherwise I probably wouldn't be talking to you right now um, on this YouTube video because the digital marketing allows me to do that. 
And so as I did state a little bit earlier, if you actually wanted to see the course that I took uh, to actually learn these digital marketing skills, you could get access to four free videos. Um, I will leave that in the description area below. And it is an affiliate link. So if you did want to help my channel, you could check that out there. And so if you had any thoughts on digital marketing, whether you are a digital marketer right now, or maybe you're interested in this field, be sure to leave that in the comments area below. And as always, if you did get value out of these videos, share, like, and subscribe. Hey geeks, if you are a creative geek like me and you wanted to learn how to create content on YouTube and other places on the internet, then check out my Go Content Creators Group where you'll get access to 30 videos plus additional content for all the creative geeks out there. And the best part of it is, all of this is free. Simply head over to the link below, check out my page, and sign up for my Go Content Creators Group. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the other side. Thanks for checking out this episode. And as always, if you like these videos, be sure to click on the subscribe button. And for full written content, audio content, and additional geek stuff, head over to geekoutdoors.com. And I'll see you outdoors on the very next episode.